Hi, I'm Governor Mike Parson. I'm pleased to join the Missouri Department of Transportation and the Missouri State Highway Patrol to mark the start of Work Zone Awareness Week. This event is held each spring to raise awareness as roadway construction gets into full swing. Our goal is to remind everyone of the importance of paying attention as you approach and drive through work zones so you and roadway workers remain safe. Dozens of Missourians lost their lives in work zone crashes last year. These are simple things we can all do to protect ourselves and others. Buckle up and avoid distractions. Our Buckle Up Phone Down initiative has spread across the nation, and I challenge each of you to take the pledge now. Also, make sure you watch your speed. Driving too fast is a top contributor to these deadly work zone crashes. Today, you'll hear from some Missourians who have had their share of close calls in work zones, but it is not just their lives on the line. Make safe decisions. Buckle up, put your phone down, and drive slow. Together, we can make Missouri Highways a safer place to work and make work zones a safer place to drive. It is a honor and privilege to be the 57th governor of the great state of Missouri. May God bless you, God bless Missouri, and God bless the United States of America. Thanks for joining us for the statewide launch of National Work Zone Awareness Week. Safety is critically important to us both the safety of our workers and the safety of those driving on our highways. As we enter another busy construction season here at MoDOT, now is our time to remind drivers to pay attention, drive the speed limit, and watch out for us while we try to keep Missouri roads safe and maintained. Unfortunately, 27 people died in Missouri work zone crashes last year. That's 27 family members, friends, coworkers, and neighbors who didn't make it home to their loved ones but each of us has the power to do something about it moving forward. That's why our message this week is simple. Work with us. You play a role in the work zone safety. Two of the most effective ways you can keep yourself safe, as well as those around you, buckle up, phone down. Distracted driving is the number one cause of fatal and serious injury crashes in work zones. It's not hard to believe given that nearly nine in 10 people admit to engaging their smartphones while driving. And more than two thirds of all vehicle occupant fatalities last year were not wearing a seatbelt. Your best defense in any crash is a seatbelt. In addition to buckling up and putting the phone down when you see MoDOT vehicles up ahead, slow down, move over if you can. It's the law and it's there to protect you and our crews. Last year, our truck trailer mounted attenuators, which act as work zone buffer trucks, were struck 48 times. This is a record number we never hope to reach. Each of these TMAs is driven by a person, a public servant working to maintain Missouri's transportation system. These crashes are almost always the result of a driver not paying attention or driving too fast. We'll continue to do our part, and we know our partners in highway safety, the Missouri State Highway Patrol, and other law enforcement agencies will do their part to enforce the laws of our highways. We thank them for their efforts. And stick around, at the end of this video, we'll showcase some of the strategies we're implementing here at MoDOT to make work zones a safe place to work and drive. But we also ask motorists to do their part. Slow down, put down the phone, move over and make room for workers and always buckle up. This construction season and every day moving forward, work with us. Thank you. Kind of was a rough week for our team uh, there at the maintenance shed because we had a truck that was hit the day prior as well. So we we're already on um, kind of a higher alert, if you would, um, just kind of trying to be more vigilant and everything. Again, uh, we just had a truck that was hit the day before. So um, senses were up, head was always swiveling uh, between the mirrors. Um, and unfortunately, just hit a, a time there where um, worst case scenario occurred, um, truck come flying up behind us and uh, didn't appear that he was going to be moving over or they just don't get up and go um, like you or I's personal vehicle would. Um, so hitting the gas and then of course hitting the uh, panic lights to add additional um, 
visuals to that driver just um, wasn't enough to stop it, unfortunately. Um, and so took that hit, um, watched the truck swing around in my uh, passenger side mirror there um, and come to rest. Just put that stuff down and just focus on what you're doing at the moment. And that's just driving. Um, you know, it's those the people out there on those work zones, you know, their, their focus is on the job. If you're lucky enough to have an extra person out there to help watch traffic and help color and give you that advanced warning, that's fine and dandy, but it's not always enough. Um, and especially in, in the TMA world, you know, all you get is that rear view mirror. Um, you don't have someone out there to holler at traffic. You don't have somebody to holler at you. You have to, you have to pay, to pay paying attention. So, um, you know, just general public or just, um, you know, anybody just pay attention, just, just look for those, those signs, look for, um, the hard setup orange square that I put out there, whatever it is, just pay attention for them because work zones are ever changing and, um, nine times out of 10, if the weather's nice, there's somebody out there in them. Uh, you know, whether it's eating a cheeseburger or on your phone, it's all the same thing. It's distracted driving. And it's just something that we as general public just got to work a little bit more on and, and try to do less of knowing that, you know, someone else's life is in your hands. Honestly, no one ever expects to leave their house and be in an accident. Um, but unfortunately, when it comes to a work zone, you know, that unplanned accident's got a good chance of costing some of their life. So. This time of year, the warmer weather allows Missouri's road crews the opportunity to make improvements to our highways. I'm Colonel Eric Olson with the Missouri State Highway Patrol, encouraging you to remain vigilant when you're operating a vehicle, particularly in construction or work zones. In 2020, Missouri experienced 2,114 work zone traffic crashes, where 27 people died and 661 were injured. Troopers patrol these areas regularly and issued over 1,400 citations and 500 warnings in construction zones last year. During National Work Zone Safety Week, troopers are participating in Operation Protect enforcement projects Monday, April 26th, and Wednesday, April 28th. Please join us making our work zones safer for our road crews. When you drive through a construction or work zone, pay attention, be a courteous driver, and obey the posted speed limit. Does TMA save a lot of lives and protecting the workers and my co-workers and stuff and protecting them because usually we get in and out of the trucks quite a bit and you know setting up work zones you know a TMA helps that. When we was at nights I had all my flashing lights on it was dark and I have no idea why she didn't see me but she hit me at 70 mile an hour and it pushed me about 10 feet and the TMA ended up underneath the truck, but it didn't hurt, it broke TMA, but it didn't hurt the truck hardly any. I watched the whole thing in my rear view mirror, and I seen her coming, I hit my panic lights, and when I hit my panic lights, it was too late. Please just slow down, pay attention to the signs that we put out, you know, just slow down. Please stay off your phones. Now that we're all back on the road, it's Highway Work Zone Safety Week. Let's remember a few things. Work zones need your undivided attention. That means no texting, no phoning, slow down. Most accidents are caused by going too fast in the work zone. And as you approach a work zone, follow the signs. The electronic message boards, the stationary signs, those are all posted. Mm -hmm to provide indicators for you to how to get through the work zone safely. They're all there for your safety as well as those of the workers. Our construction workers are dedicated to working safe. They're all trained to work safe, but we all need to work together, especially the drivers as they come through the work zones. Workers operating a piece of heavy equipment are not there to be injured. They're there to get a job done. There are loads of hazards to contend with on the road. There may be eight to 10 inch drop off on the side of the road. There may be water pouring off a bridge as concrete is being cured on your vehicle. Unfortunately, more often than not, it's not a construction related issue, but it's a driver going too fast through the work zone and not getting it. 
We all know whose life is on the line. It's not just the worker. It's the driver. It's the family. It's the passengers in the vehicle. It's all the mothers, fathers, daughters, sons. All those people are impacted when people don't pay attention in a work zone. Just as in the pandemic, if we all work together on this, we can all get to where we want to get to and have zero accidents and zero injuries in our work zones in Missouri. That's a win-win for everybody. Just remember these simple things as you enter a work zone. Slow down and follow the posted signs. It takes you 1.3 minutes to go one mile and 45 miles an hour. It takes 50 seconds to go the same distance if you're going 70. That 28 second differential can save your life, a worker or of you. Just drive safely during work zone week and every week. Follow the signs, slow down, work safe, and we can all work together to save lives. My name is Bryce Hill. I work for Delta Companies. I'm a construction foreman. Uh, my experience is that I had a car one time come too close to the paver when I was trying to make an adjustment and caught its mirror on my shoulder. About knocked me into the asphalt. I was bruised and sore for about a week, maybe two weeks. If I could talk to them when I went by, I, just, I wish they would all understand that as bad as they want to go home, we all want to go home. We'd like to go home safe and see our families just like they're trying to get to. Hi, I'm Penny Compass. I work for Delta Companies. And my job is traffic control. And I have been here this morning about four hours and I've already had three people come around my traffic that I had stopped. And they are putting, we have nine Delta employees between me and the other flagger and they are putting them all in danger. So this message is out to, sent out to the public to pay attention to our construction signs. We all wanna go to home to our families and be safe. Thank you. Here are a few of the work zone strategies the public may encounter during this busy construction season. MoDOT is partnering with the Missouri State Highway Patrol and local law enforcement for Operation Protect. The effort puts officers and troopers in state work zones and is specifically targeted to help reduce speeding, distracted driving, and other unsafe driving habits that could put lives at risk. The department is also expanding the use of its Haas real-time digital alerts to the entire emergency response fleet, TMA trucks, signal bucket trucks, aerial platform trucks, and some construction project office trucks to total approximately 500 vehicles at MoDOT with this technology. This technology enables vehicles to send alerts to motorists whenever the emergency lights are activated on MoDOT trucks. The alerts are sent through tools such as the Waze Navigation app. This expansion will provide customers more details faster than ever, which will ideally increase their reaction time and improve the safety of work zone operations. MoDOT is also expanding the use of its automated flagger assistance devices. These devices are attached to truck or trailer mounted attenuators in work zones. They help improve safety by removing a human flagger from the roadway and putting them safely in the cab of the TMA to operate the device. MoDOT will also be utilizing new technology in its traffic control equipment this construction season. This suite of tools intelligently reports work zone data directly to navigation systems of connected cars, improving safety, travel times, and eventually aiding in real-time decisions of vehicles as they approach active work areas. MoDOT will continue its use of temporary rumble strips in construction and maintenance work to help reduce distracted driving. The department will also continue to use its dynamic message signs to provide motorists with advanced warnings of upcoming work zones so they can react safely. Some of these warnings may encourage drivers to zipper merge when a lane is closed ahead. In congested, slow-moving traffic, drivers should use both lanes up until the merge point and then merge into the open lane every other car like a zipper. <laughs>